Hello, everybody. This is the Game Engineer, and we are back to you after a long holiday break. So today we've got just a quick little opening because it's been pretty slow on any sort of new releases. Uh, so we're going to open up another uh, Crimson Vow uh, pre because everything else has pretty much been delayed uh, or has just not come out yet. They're set boosters for Crimson Vow really are not widely available, I think, due to shipping logistics. And Double Feature, I'm guessing, will probably be equally delayed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to open up stuff we already have, or just the, the little bit of pre's we can get here and there. So, uh, we've already seen what... Uh, what comes in here in the Crimson Vow release? Uh, we got nice dice. We got um, a little card separator. And uh, on here we have an arena code. And then we have just a bunch of cards. And actually, it sounds like there's something else in here. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's just this little divider. Felt like it was maybe another dice. Uh, this looks to be pretty much identical to the last one that I opened. Here's the last one I opened. Yeah, nothing, nothing significantly different there. Um, I have heard reports of some people saying that the quality varied quite a bit uh, on some of these dice, but I guess I haven't haven't noticed an issue. So, there's Soren, and let's see if we have any luck with uh, getting some new cards. Oh, let's see. We've got a nurturing presence. Some celebrants, throng, a specimen, a snail, grisly ritual, Nice little uh, showcase of Aldern Epicure, Travel Minister, Recluse, the Bride's Gown. Uh, looks like we're going to get some something shiny at the end. Uh, we've got a Brine Comber. Don't know that I've seen that one. Brine Comber has a backside, which is the Brine Bound Gift. Looks like a dual dual land, or a dual enchantment of some sort. Oh, okay. And then we've got a rare, the Hopeful Initiate. A human warlock. We've got a land. And we have a foil alluring suitor. Along with a human. All right. So one, I think one new card in there that I don't think I've seen before. And again, these are draft boosters. These are not, uh, these are, you know, are, were meant for draft play, not for set collecting. So we're not expecting to see anything particularly new in here. But I will call out uh, anything that I see that is a new card for me. That wedding invitation. Uh, Valorious Stance. I'm not sure that I've seen that one. A cloaked Cadet. A nice little ghillie suit there. A foreboding statue. Turns into the Forsaken Thresher. We've got the Hallowed Haunting a Mythic. Oh, I forgot I had the buttons. It's been so long. But that is a mythic. Very cool. As long as you have seven more enchantment creatures, you control uh, you control have flying and vigilance. All right. And we've got an island and a copy. All right. What do we have? We've got a Geist, 
We've got Flame Breather, Cradle O Safety, a Vampire Slayer, Sharpshooter, Bleed Dry, Crushing Canopy, a Ceremonial Knife. I don't know that I have seen this artifact yet. Equip Creature gets plus one, plus zero. Okay. End of the Festivities, a Lantern Bearer. Frenzy Devils, a Wandering Mind, an Escort, an Ill-Tempered Loner. I wonder if he has laser beams attached to his head with the Howl Pack Avenger on the back. And uh, that's about it, yeah. Okay, let's see. Shield Basher, Ancestral Anger, Serpentine Ambush, Rider, a Snail, a Ritual, a Sharpshooter, nice little Evolving Wilds, Pyre, Villager, Parasitic Grasp, uh, a Cartographer's Survey, Child of the Pack, who is on the backside, the Savage Pac-Man, Little Red Riding Hood, pulling the old bait and switch. And the Alchemist Gambit. We're channeling our inner our inner Ghostbusters there, quite clearly. And let's see. All right, a Betrayal, an Ambush, a Beguiler, a Flame Blessed Bolt, a very pointed discussion, Bramble Armor, Scavenger with, oh, I didn't notice that before, Scavenger with a sword through its skull. All right, clearly a zombie bear. Combatants, a Disciple, Geist, Waltzer, Taxidermist, Mischievous Cat Geist, which has cat-like curiosity. An overcharged amalgam. That's rare. Along with number one token, the human. I mean really I don't I don't know that we're expecting any any really crazy cards in this, except for maybe what we get in the uh, kind of the promo slot, which we'll look here at the end, which could be, I think, could be a Dracula card, but haven't been that lucky yet. All right. Oh, look at that little pupper. And into the night, Edgar, the charmed groom. Strangely enough, Edgar is not uh, mythic. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. And this is also in the showcase style, so that's kind of doubly cool. Uh, wearing a lot of layers there. Guy must must get cold. Um, and we have Edgar Markov's fancy coffin. Look at that beauty. Aerodynamic for some reason. Well, that one's cool. I don't think I've picked Edgar yet. And we got a foil honeymoon hearse. Got to bling that nighttime hearse. All right. And what do we have in our promo slot? We have, let's see. It is winged portent. So, not Dracula, foil rare. It's all right. Um, you know, stamped with the little 2021 logo. But that's all we got. So, thanks again for tuning in. Sorry it's been so long. The holidays have been uh, very busy. Uh, but hopefully we'll be opening up some more stuff soon. And... Uh, 
we'll see if the double feature comes out. Uh, I'm a little disappointed with what I'm seeing so far in that it's basically just black and white versions of existing uh, Crimson Vow and Midnight Hunt cards, which a lot of them were already pretty dull, especially the land, so um, that might not be the most exciting release here in January, February. But then uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is going to turn that on its head, and it is going to be super colorful and bright. We're going to get modern ninjas, and pretty excited about that. So, thanks again for dropping in, and uh, come and uh, join me again as we open up more packs with the Game Engineer.